Hey everyone, Brandon here with Galloway Precision. Today is the day a lot of you have been waiting for. Uh, this is going to be the install video for the car series of pistols, the Gallo Glass Short Stroke Trigger. Uh, the sear uh, will be coming later. Uh, we got some new pistols in from Car Nation from uh, Devon Fluetes and found that uh, while the sear setup worked perfectly in our decades old pistol, like literally our CM9 and our CW40 are about 11, 12 years old, some of the sear stuff has moved slightly, just enough to where uh, in a newer pistol, it wouldn't grab just right. So we're gonna revisit the sear, but in the meantime, we'll get the Gallo Glass flat face short stroke out there. Uh, it still removes about 10% of the overall travel. And uh, like I said, we'll revisit the sear after the first of the year, split the difference. So it'll work in old models and new models. And uh, then you'll have the sear to go with your trigger and that'll be the full 20, 25% reduction. <clears throat> but, People have been clamoring for this thing, and people have been dying for a flat face trigger for the car. So we're going to go ahead and get the Gallo glass out there now. Uh, so this video is going to go over installation and adjustment, and then we'll have a separate video for the P380. Very similar, uh, just a lot smaller area to work with in there. So let's go over tools you're going to need. You're going to need, first, let's get all our tools. <laughs> been having a tendency to do that lately. You're going to need your bench block. You're going to need an 050 Allen wrench. You're going to need blue Loctite or VC3. You need your brass polymer hammer. You need a 332nd punch and a small flathead screwdriver. And that's all you're going to need. All right. So it's locked and clear. We are visually and physically empty, so we can go ahead and strip the pistol. Maybe. There we go. All right. So first thing you're going to do is we're going to take our trigger. And if you're using VC3, you can go ahead and put it in. And honestly, the blue Loctite, you can go ahead and do now too. All right. Uh, if you're using VC3 though, go ahead and pause the video and come back in about 15 minutes when it's cured and it'll be ready to go. Put a little dab in there. Put a little dab on our screw here. Doesn't take much. We're just trying to keep it in place while we do the shoosting. All right. And I just have it come out about three, four threads to start with. All right, so now we're gonna take our bench block, flip it over. We're gonna take our frame, we're gonna line our trigger pivot pin up with our hole in our bench block. Now some of these you'll be able to push out. If you can't, just give it a good hard tap and it will pop right out. Now, great thing about this is we don't have to take this haul apart yet. So what you're gonna do is you can pull forward on the trigger some and your locking plate and trigger return spring should just drop right on out. And you can reach in here. And right here, you take a little flat head. So you can move the trigger bar out of the way a little bit. And the trigger's just going to drop right out of the bottom. All right. We're going to take our gallow glass trigger. Put it in the same spot. All right. We're going to take our flat head. Make sure the trigger bar locks into its little hole right here I can take a little finagling because it is very tight in here now comes the hard part of the whole thing trying to show you how to do this now the way I've been doing this and the easiest thing I have found to do is I will take my pivot pin and we'll start and we'll get it just sub flush all right with this part of the trigger you see me pointing to because what we're going to do is we're going to take our locking plate and our trigger return spring. Now this flat piece will lock into the flat part of the trigger. Okay, so when you put this all together, this is how it's going to look internally. Flat part down, just like that, all right? And when you put the pin in, it locks everything into place. 
that's the hardest part because you're gonna do this all from the side. All right, so I'm gonna take, and there's just honestly no way I can show you this on the camera. I've been struggling with that for the past couple days trying to figure that out. But you're gonna take, all right, with your long arm forward, your curved arm to the rear, because that's what actually goes in the trigger body itself, and then take the flat portion of your screwdriver and you're going to start maneuvering things into place now if it rotates on you unfortunately you just got to kind of push it back out and start again um and that's this is really honestly the hardest part of the whole thing is getting that lined up and getting it pushed back together This is honestly, everybody right now watching this is like, wow, you took that apart really fast. You suck at putting it together. This is literally just the only way to do this. Um, so you're kind of hoping for the best here on your first install. All right, so there we go. Got it going. All right, so once you have it all kind of lined up, hold the trigger in place, you can push, and you'll see everything lined up. Push down on the trigger pivot against your bench block. All right, give it a little swing. Let just pull and let the trigger kind of flop. Make sure it's moving back and forth. If it doesn't completely reset or move the way you want it to, uh, the spring's gotten kinked inside or the locking plate shifted. So you'll just push that out and try it again until you get this. All right, so now we're ready to put our slide back on and adjust our over travel stop. Bingo. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and start by turning this thing way out. Because what we want is you're going to turn it clockwise until the striker does not fall. And that's going to take a lot. So just go ahead and start turning. getting there all right so that was a slow drop so a couple more turns and we should be all right so you're gonna turn it so the striker doesn't fall okay now you're gonna start one quarter turn at a time counterclockwise striker falls we get good reset we could probably do a little bit more adjustment and there you go right on it so that alone takes about 10 percent of the stroke out just by itself um, like i said when we revisit the sear we're going to have the distance on the sear make up for the change in slight moves in the sear body in the frame and it'll work in the old models like ours and it'll work in new models like this. So, but everybody, i tell you what, man. Shooting this the past couple days with the flat face on it. So much better. Feels a lot better. And just that little 10% cutting out of the stroke makes a huge difference. Especially once you get your reset down. There's reset. Uh, the reason we didn't put a pre-travel stop in is these guns are very, very tight tolerance, which car is widely known for being a very tight tolerance gun, uh, which is a good thing in a polymer frame. Um, so adding the pre-travel stop wouldn't really do 
a whole lot because there's your reset. So you got less than a sixteenth of an inch pre-travel. So if we were to take that away, you'd end up not getting full reset, I'd say. But uh, that's it, guys. Now we let our Loctite dry and our Gallo Blast short stroke trigger is in um, and ready to be fired. So we're going to let this one dry. We'll go in and do some shooting. Uh, this also has the reduced power spring kit and stainless steel guide rod installed. Uh, you can see our other install videos on that guide rod. Striker guide helps if I call out the right thing because it comes with a metal guide rod. That's why we don't make them. It's already got a nice steel guide rod from the factory. But stainless steel striker guide and our reduced power spring kit. So we've dropped about a pound off the pull weight and we've shortened the stroke 10%. So I think people are going to be really happy with this. Uh, we're going to get one of these to Mr. Guns and Gear uh, for a review um, after the video's up. And uh, these will be on the website by probably the end of next week. So if you got any questions, feel free to email me at tech. That's Tango Echo Charlie Hotel at GallowayPrecision.com. Be sure to follow us on social media here on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe below. Follow us on Full 30, Gun Streamer, what else? Firearms Friendly, Facebook, Instagram, and Vimeo. And as always, be safe, be accurate, and God bless.